Bob and Hillary, and we started this trip off in Phoenix, Arizona. A thousand miles in, we had a potential trip ending event happen. And when I removed this, I found that it was working. So as soon as he removed this, the van went Meow. Meow. It was working, it's 4.30 at this point in the morning. If this didn't work, we would not be able to continue this trip. We got back on the road and headed up to Kansas City. No. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Maybe go on this one. From there, we continued on through Iowa, Minnesota, and made it to Mackinac City for the most beautiful sunrise you would ever see. From there, we spent the next few days in Michigan visiting family, and today, we start the journey home. All right, so we are in Indiana. We woke up in Michigan, we drove a little bit through Ohio, and now we're really beginning this trip off in Indiana. We've been driving for two hours, decided let's find a Starbucks because we need a little pick-me-up and some breakfast. So here we are, just outside of Indi Indianapolis, Indiana. Boom. All right, let's go get some coffee. <laughs> hey, you gotta see this, and it's full floor. I've got the Ugg boots, I've got the pajamas, I got the sweatshirt, I got the hat. It's 39 degrees. Breakfast of champions. Today's mission, get all the way to Oklahoma and find a harvest host. Fingers crossed we can do that because we have no idea if we can. Did you just set an ambitious target for us? <laughs> did you hear what I said? I did. And I, I don't know if I'm on board with all of that. Really? We got to go, Bob. Well, that we do. What else do we have to do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no good answer on that one. You need a potty break and a gas break and a, we've been driving for almost five hours break. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we've been driving for almost five hours and I think we still have about seven or eight to go for the day if, if we make it that far today, we don't know. We're actually about to cross the Mississippi River here in St. Louis. We'll get, we're going to see the St. Louis Arch and continue our journey westward. And I don't think I don't think I've ever seen the St. Louis Arch because we didn't come this way. How did we miss it on the way here? So we went farther north to Kansas City. Okay. Because so we were coming from uh, okay. Texas. All right, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen it. Could be wrong, but I don't think I have. So, that's exciting on this long journey home. It's a little noisy in here. Uh, the roads are a little rough, not gonna lie. And by a little, I mean a lot. Uh, hang on. Whoa. A new place, a new home. For a while, let me feel alive. There she be. There she be. To hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. We're in Missouri. Thank you. Woohoo! Started in Michigan at five o'clock this morning, five ish this morning. Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Missouri. That's what we've done so far today, and it's only new. Made it to Missouri. I want Tulsa. Right? Tulsa. Lunch is served. I made us cheese and meat sandwiches, and I. You know you've been on the road a long time when you just grab the thing of almond milk. Normally I'd put it in a glass. 
but it seems like it could spill easy if I put it in a glass. So I just brought the whole jug of almond milk up here. And yeah, I do drink almond milk. I'm lactose intolerant, so this is the next best thing. But lunch is served. You like your sandwich, Mom? Very good. Very good. Since we want to get to Tulsa, Oklahoma tonight, we decided we don't have time to stop for lunch. I'll make us lunch, plus we have a budget we're working on. And yeah, that's why I just decided to make us sandwiches. Well, Bob is inside going to the bathroom. I've decided it's time to put the Ugg boots away. We're in like, I don't know, I think it's almost 70. It's at least in the 60s. And so I don't need boots and winter gear anymore. I'm gonna put them away and get out my Birkenstocks again. And I gotta get rid of this bug that's been here right in my line of sight for the last, like, I don't know, <laughs> three hours. <laughs> okay, so the plan is we are gonna go just outside Tulsa. So through Tulsa, Tulsa to the other side. Why? Because we found a winery on Harvest Host that we definitely wanna go to. Um, do you remember what the winery is called? Tide, tidal wave. Tidal. Oh, what is it? We made a reservation because a lot of times we look for the same day reservations that you could just click on your phone. So far we've gotten lucky. This is our third one on this trip and it was available. So we are headed to, let me look. Me in my pajamas still. I mean, why change? Okay, so we're going to Tidewater Winery in Drumright. That's where it we're is. headed to. Drum right, Oklahoma. Uh, so I think we have almost yeah. six hours of driving left. It closes at eight though, and we want to go and eat there. So we gotta hurry up and get there because it's already one. And we have at least six and a half more hours of driving. Wish us luck that we can make it there. <laughs> Are you stretching? Yes, I'm trying to stretch a little bit before we... Okay. Bug is gone. How much? How many hours do we have left of driving? A lot. Too many. Too many is what too we many. have. Too many. Oh, it's three fifty-five, huh? That's not bad, right? Well, not bad beats, at all. Uh, Four twenty-nine that we paid earlier. Well, we are four hours and fifty-one minutes away from our destination, and we are. This is the fastest we've gone in quite some time, up to forty miles an hour. And we are on our way to Tidal Wave Winery. <laughs> I got it, I think. Tidewater. Tidewater. Tidewater Winery. We cannot remember it for our lives. In Drumright, Oklahoma. Drum right, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, crap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, gosh. This is nerve wracking. Yeah, yeah. Anytime you come to a complete stop on the highway, <sighs> Makes you and see a red line. Makes you pucker. Ah, there but goes my phone. Our concern is we are at a stop on I-44 in the middle of Missouri with still almost five hours of travel time. And we really, really want to get to this winery while it's open. That's the key. We can get there after it opens, no big deal. But then we won't get to experience the winery and I think there's a restaurant also. And so that's what we're really looking forward to because today will end up being like, what? A 12, 13 hour day of driving? 13 plus, yeah. 13 plus hour day. So this is our reward. And this traffic is not helping us out. Nah. done with winter. Mm -hmm. Winter is over. <laughs> winter is gone. Winter is gone. It's 68 degrees. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, look at that wall.
as you can see, we're up and going. We're going about 70 miles an hour. All is good. That just cost us maybe 15 minutes. So we are still going to make it before it closes, as long as nothing else happens. Okay, so I would like to just go on record here that we are, how many hours into this drive? We started at around five-ish this morning. I don't know that we looked exactly at the time, did you? I did, we're about nine hours in. Yeah, so if we started around five, it's technically 3.15 the time that we started. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three. So 10 hours. Okay, so we're about 10 hours in and it says we still have four and a half hours to go. I'm feeling pretty refreshed and pretty good. And so I keep asking Bob, hey, would you like me to drive? Because I feel like he's been driving for 10 straight hours. I would think he needs a break and I'm a good driver. I'm just gonna say that. I drive this thing like it's a car. <laughs> Is that a good driver? I think so. But I keep asking him and then Bob, what is, what do you keep telling me? So I said, by the time that we stop and change drivers, I will basically have an opportunity to stretch and do what I need to do to feel comfortable. And then you'll start driving and then I'll be so antsy that I'll probably make you pull off the road and then start driving again. <laughs> so I say we just go for a couple more hours. We'll basically stretch, get some more gas, and then we'll drive for a little bit more and we'll be there. So I'm okay with it. Yeah. How do you feel? Um, for 10 hours in, like how- 10 hours in, I actually feel pretty good, all things considered. Yes. Yeah, I feel like 10 hours in, it's not too bad, but I think it's all mindset sometimes. We knew that we wanted to get to Oklahoma today. I set a lofty goal this morning because it's 27 hours to our house. We know it's probably gonna take three days, so why not get as much as we can during the first day done so that the other two days aren't as bad. That's my thinking. Let me know, when you travel and it's long trips like this, what is your thinking or your plan of attack. We're always up for no, new ideas and stuff, but this is how we usually travel. But I am glad that he doesn't feel too bad. And, you know, I always worry that he's over there and, you know, I'm over here just chilling like a villain, watching some YouTube and he's bored out of his mind just driving. But it has been really pretty today. <laughs> no, I'm not bored at all. <laughs> But we could have taken a tollless and it would have been like an hour longer. So which would you prefer, Mr. McCaskey? Tolls. <laughs> Doesn't mean I gotta like it. this morning's lofty goal and 
I don't know why Bob approved it. I don't either. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, we're here, we checked in, we parked in the right spot. She's gonna go get wine for us to taste. And then we get to order from the steakhouse across the street and they're gonna bring it over here because you can't have alcohol over there. So, so far so good. Um, we just ordered food, we both ordered barbecue. I'm like, I think you, when you're in Oklahoma. Yep, need some barbecue. We ate barbecue last time, it was so good. So hopefully it's good. And then I guess we're doing a wine tasting. With How are you feeling after 15 hours of driving? Very, very tired. Do you, or do you regret it? No, because we got a huge chunk out of the way. Just, I, I just wish we would have gotten here a little bit earlier. That's all. Yeah. So, but it's okay. It is what it is. <laughs> Not bad. You like that? Mm -hmm. Red wine. Good. Which one is this? this is the oh, the one. way right. Okay. Yeah. This one's, um, it's kind of sweet. sweet. Sweet white wine. Okay. It's it, carbonated. Like it, it's got some bubbly. It pairs nicely with a salad. It's, That's what it says. Okay. I could drink you. this, and I normally can't drink anything other than Moscato. I could, wow. yeah, it's a little sweet. Uh -huh. But yeah. not, not as dry. dry. It looks amazing. We're so happy. We are so stinking happy right now. This looks amazing and smells even better. All right, so I got a bottle of Cimarron Red Blend. And it was your favorite one. It, it was. I enjoyed the tasting and look forward to having another glass. Yeah, I had to actually have her open it since I don't have a bottle opener in the van. <laughs>